What's good, YouTube? Sorry for the late upload, guys, man. I was recording a video, guys, uh, last night, and my computer shut down in the middle of, uh, in the middle of me recording, so that's why I'm doing uh, one of these types of videos. I was I was actually had one that I was actually doing some uh, making a beat for you guys, but I lost everything, so <clears throat> I have to do this last minute. So, uh, so I got a good uh, a good question, a good topic. Um, it was by Astro Mott. Uh, he commented and said, "Dope video. I agree with a lot of the things you were saying." What about using type beats as a way to, for exposure? For me, when it comes to type beats, it's just working for uh, working the algorithm to get beats to a certain audience. I don't have a type beat in mind when I'm cooking up. I just think of an artist that would be good for the title. After I'm done, I'm tired. Oh, I tried just naming my beats with a with non-type beat titles at first, and it didn't help my channel growth. So, how how should I go about <clears throat> getting my beats out there? I just started music last year, so any insight would be amazing. All right, Astromot. So that's a really good question, really good topic. So he's basically saying, he's basically asking, how can he get his beats out there and get some exposure without being a type beat producer, even though he's probably picked up and noticed that being a type beat producer will get you a couple more extra clicks. So I agree with him. That is very true. You actually will get more clicks if you put such and so type beat, such and such and so type beat and uh, put those up versus just putting names of the beat that you like and then putting them up there because when people are uh, artists are looking for beats they're typing in such and so artist type beat such and so producer type beat so that is a good way to do that so i agree with them that is that is a better way and it probably does work better what i would suggest to you astro astro would be if you're going to do the type beats to have your title as type beats with artist names not producer names do artist names um uh, and then, but still have your own style, your own genre, your own kind of sound and your way of doing it. So when you make a beat, don't make a Zaytoven type beat and then label it Migos, you know what I mean? Because you're you're making a Zaytoven type beat. Make your type beat that you that you would be thinking, hey, I bet Migos would go pretty hard on this, even though it's not a, 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 a Zaytoven type beat or anybody else, it's just strictly a U type beat, right? So that's what I would suggest, using artist names even though your uh, even though your style is your own style, but something that fits that style the style of the artist, I think is the best way to do it. So I highly suggest that you guys um, go about doing things like that, like if you're going to uh, do the uh, type beat thing. So um, another kind of way to get your um, your beats heard or your music, or, and this goes for artists too, like you uh, like rappers, it, like actual artists for like. That do uh, digital artwork or actually paint, draw, or whatever. Uh, just getting, ex putting yourself out there in areas that go hand in hand with it, but maybe something totally different. So, for example, I've had some comment, some people in the comment sections asking me about my car that I've spoken about a couple times from uh, that I've been building. So, what I may do is, since I see that people that tend to like music, like cars, and people that like cars, like music, and and those two communities can kind of go side and side, kind of kind of like skateboarding too. Um, that was another one that was always popular that people would always send me videos of them using my beats and whatnot to skate videos. But, um, I can make car videos and, uh, make my, and, and have my beats just playing in the background. So it could be drift videos. It could be race videos. It could be build vid uh, videos. It could be anything involved in a car and just throw your beats on, on it in the background. So it, it, the car community will see you and hear you. And then, uh, the music community will see you and hear you. And then it may, you know, intertwine. So people from the music community will see that you're in the cars and be like, oh, he's in the cars. Let me reach out and see what kind of car he's got. And let me tell him about my building. You kind of just build relationships like that. You never know. Or it could be vice versa. The car people are like, oh, man, I like I like this dude's beats. I wouldn't mind using more of his beats for my car videos. Or I actually rap and I uh, I like cars, so I, I, I could use that, use some of his beats. So those, it's, it's those types of things. You want to tie in different things that are different from one another. But that can work together to actually um, like build like build upon each other. You know what I mean? So you probably wouldn't want to make. Well, I mean, really, you could throw your beats on anything. It, you could be have your beats playing while somebody's cutting hair, somebody's putting their taking apart, putting their car together, somebody's doing tattoos, uh, somebody's drawing. You know what I mean? So like use other avenues to get your exposure out there. It doesn't necessarily even have to be a tight beat video on the Internet. Now, if you're doing the tight beat videos and they're on the Internet, that's fine, too. But just use are relevant artists but make sure you're using artists that you actually sound like them so don't don't make your style type beat and you're doing something like a drake 
type beat as the title and then it doesn't even sound like anything Drake would be on because then that's just going to get you some clicks and then people are going to listen to it and then steer away because they see that you clickbait people. So you're going to be cautious of that. But I do highly suggest the intermixing and intertwining of different uh, genres. If you like skateboarding, rollerblading, scootering, like go-karting, paintballing, airsoft, like anything you can add a dope beat to anything any type of uh video or any type of picture montage and i think that's really cool that probably be something that i'll branch more out into doing uh and i may even implement the cars uh more in my videos maybe do like uh videos where i'm riding in my car and i'm and i listen to you guys beats and and uh, critique them and, and do that because I, I like talking more to you guys about beats and showing you things more than i like making a beat and then just showing you how i do it um I'll continue to do that, but I, I really like to explain more than than actually uh, doing a beat and then just having a video and just show you, hey, here's here's how I made this type of beat. I think these types of videos are a little bit more helpful for the people that need more clarity, but they know how to make a beat. So I, I do the, the other, I make vi beat videos for people that need help making a beat. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it on that topic, but yeah, but, but intertwining different types of styles and different types of uh, uh, artists and different videos and different other uh, creative avenues together with your music will help kind of put you out there. Um, and like you said, uh, Astromont, um, the type beats, you probably will get more clicks if you have a name in there, but just don't do producer type beats. I highly suggest you don't do the producer type beats. If you're trying to make a name for yourself, your own sound and be your own person out here, in the industry and everything and, and create something and make a ripple in the music community you have to have your own sound your own style but you can you can cater it and critique it to a, a specific artist that you may like or listen to um <clears throat> so i'm not gonna hold you guys too long and keep this one kind of short just because it's the last minute thing uh it's about a seven minute long video but um i hope you guys like the video and like the content drop some comments in the comment section and let me know more what you guys want to see I'll be getting a, a video of me actually making a beat and uh, showing some uh, some different little tip, tips and secret. I think next beat video, I may do like an advanced melodic melody or something like that. I, I'm not really sure. I've gotten a, a couple of different ideas that you guys have put in the comments and have messaged me. So I'll, I'll kind of sift through them and figure out what I want to do. But that's really all I got for you guys, man. Uh, you know, it's Milan Makes Beats on all the social media. If I, if I got it, you'll find me. If I don't, you won't. Um, I really don't have too much else for you guys today, man. Y'all be easy. Enjoy your fourth. Enjoy the holidays. Be safe out there. Um, don't do nothing I wouldn't do. And uh, you guys have a good time. So I appreciate all the love and support and uh, keep supporting. Peace.